What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live here during the day. <laughs> coming at you live <laughs> from my craft room here at Las Vegas, Nevada as I do Monday through Friday bringing you junk journal content and videos. Hello everybody. Today I am here because actually I have all these junk journal things that I put up in my shop, but I now I need to put them up in packs and count them and put up the right quantity up in my shop. Hi, Jen. How are you? I also need to, I forgot I need to um, change the labels in my printer. I forgot to make my labels. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, that is what I am here doing. I got a package of these supplies here. Let me post the link to my shop if you would like to support my little channel here. Um, I need to make a couple of labels. I guess I could show you guys what I'm doing, kind of. Let me see. <gasps> no, I can't because I didn't pick Logitech. No! <laughs> I was going to show you on my screen or not as I edit my labels, but I, I can't. Um, okay, so let me see. The first one, first thing I need to do is I need to change the labels in my printer. I have a Rolo printer that I got, what did I get it, like less than six months ago, I think, maybe? Yeah, less than six months ago. I got a print. I got it, oh, I got it on Black Friday. That's right. I got it on Black Friday, um, and uh, I can print my own labels with it, and I like to be a little extra and so I print out little labels for all my things in my shop. So hang on, I gotta, gotta adjust my labels here. I'm off camera for a minute. I don't know who's there. I'm not looking at my screen. I'm away from my desk. So give me one moment. Let me do my printer thing. It has to like first I see the type of labels I'm using, and then it, I can set it up to print that size label. Okay. Let me see if anybody's here. I haven't looked at my screen. Hi, Miss Patricia. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so the first label I need to make is for grungy note cards, set of 10. So one moment, I need to be in my little Photoshop mode here. So I said 10 junk journal, 10 junk journal note cards is what I'm going to put, note cards, which is what I'm going to make the label for. That's these ones that I need to package up right now. Let's leave that label. Luckily, I've been using Photoshop since I was like 14, 13, 14, I can't remember. So this is like second nature to me. And made by 10 new cards. So we'll save that. And then we need to make the uh, envelopes. I guess I'll just, because uh, I have two sets. I have this one with the Dick and Jane images, and then I have... Ones that I made with uh, <clears throat> music sheets. So what should I call those? Ten. No, they're both sets of eight. I might as well just call them sets of eight paper envelopes. Because, I mean, maybe set one, set two. I don't know. You can clearly see it on the pictures, but I didn't name them different. Anything different. Eight junk journal envelopes. And um, so the, uh, the downside of Photoshop is it doesn't have a spell check. Well, it does, but not automatically as you're typing. Envelopes. <laughs> okay, handmade by the eight envelopes. Sorry if you, oh, that I say it as a piece. No, that's not what I want to do. Sorry if you can hear noises behind me. It's daytime and I live in a city. Okay, so there's that. And then I need to do the Franken paper envelopes. And those are sets of what? What are those sets of? Franken envelopes are sets of eight also. Okay. 
Okay, okay. So who's here? Shara, I think there's a hello. Hello, hello. Uh, so these are sets of also eight. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, sets of eight. And uh, Frank and Paper and Boats is what I'll call them. Junk Journal. Frank and, no, eight. I might just call them eight. Franken paper envelopes. There we go. And let's see. That label, I got, I'm sorry, I got to get these labels made before I, I mean, I could package them up, but it's just not as fun with that label. <laughs> uh, eight envelopes, Franken. Okay. So now, you have to go to my printer settings. Oh, gosh. Should have done this before I went live, but I just hit live. Sorry. <laughs> Rollo printer manage printer preferences settings. It's gonna be two by one. We want it to be ninety degrees, and we will apply and save. And let's go look at our labels here. So I need eight junk journal envelopes. I need to print that. Let me see here. Okay, options. I wish I could show you guys all this, but I didn't pick <laughs> I didn't pick the right settings when I went live, so I apologize for that. Okay, I believe I'm gonna print one just so I can see if I printed it right. <clears throat> Sounds correct. Let me look. And it is. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let me print out more of these labels then. Properties, settings, two one. Okay, I need a print. We'll print. Uh let's print. 25 of those and then so that's the that's the eight envelopes now i need the franken envelopes eight franken envelopes and options let's make sure we got that right settings 90 degree two by one okay i think i'm only gonna need like a dozen of these i don't think i even need a dozen but I always print on more than I do. Okay, so that's the Franken envelopes, and then I need the 10 note cards. Is it 10? Okay, yes, yeah, I think I have a double check. Okay. Print options, printer properties, settings, 90 degrees, two by one. And of these, I guess I'll print out. I think I don't I don't even think I have like a dozen of these, but I'll print out a dozen. Okay, they're so cheap to print out. Let me grab my links. <clears throat> and then we can start getting these together here. Okay, let me go back to my screen now. I'm sorry, I've been off screen for so long. <laughs> we can do this so sweet. I just got the book. I tell all about what they So very cool. I uh, know it's a Rolo printer. Technically, it is a thermal printer. Thermal printer. Okay, so eight envelopes, eight envelopes, eight envelopes, eight envelopes, eight envelopes. Okay, these are Franken envelopes now. Eight junk journal envelopes. Okay. I am in love with this little printer. I love it. Um, I got it for... um. To uh, print out my Etsy labels, you know. But now, I I also purchased some small labels. These ones are the ones that I got, and uh, I use them as little labels for everything. I freaking love it. I love it. Okay. So first one I gotta do is the ten note cards. Now I was trying to kind of organize them so I can see them by color and style. Cause I did do a couple different colors. I don't want to just give you all one color. So I gotta do this crazy stuff where I'm like organizing. Them. <laughs> I get a little 
I get a little crazy when it comes to like packing orders. It has to be like, I want to give you a nice variety. And sometimes that takes um, time to achieve. <laughs> it takes time to achieve that. So I'm kind of organizing them by color here. You can see what I'm doing. Mossy, Mossy, hello. I'm doing my camera crooked. There's <coughs> my camera's a little crooked. Hang on. Hang on. I should have fixed this before. Oop, nope, that didn't help. Wait. Wait. Nope, that didn't help either. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm organizing these now. There's a couple different sizes here. This one, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm <coughs> organizing them by color and by size. So there's the little square ones. This is a blue one of these. Is this a little much? Probably. Like I said, I like to give you a variety. And this is the, the way I can ensure that I get a little bit of a variety here in my picks. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. I know I don't go live during the day enough. I really need to <laughs> start going live during the day more. Um, I like to do sometimes my Etsy store stuff on camera because it's the only way that I'll focus. It's the only way that I won't check my phone. I won't, you know, be busy finding something else to watch on TV. So <laughs> that's why sometimes I go live when I do stuff like this. It's really just to like keep me, <laughs> keep me on task. You guys help me with that. I stay on task and I get things done. I feel like. <laughs> Uh, Eddie Co Andy Cott, New York. Sorry if I said that wrong. I've never been to New York. It sounds fabulous. Sounds like it snows. Okay, I think that's almost all of them. Uh, blue, here's purple, 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 purple. Blue, red, 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 red. Let me make sure I don't have any more of them here. I know I didn't have too many of these. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Sets of 10, I believe. Sets of 10. Okay. I don't think I have that many. <laughs> let's see. I have the most of these cards. So I'll get one, two. Get purple and a blue. Get one of these in purple and red. Here's a teal and a red so two four six eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten here you are miss jen thank you you guys keep me on track especially miss jen she really cracks the whip on me you know I love it. <laughs> Don't tell her, but I love it. Okay. Of course, now they're doing like construction in the background. Or else all day there was no noise. <laughs> and now this is what I get. Okay, so this is the first set of 10. Uh, 10. And then these are like coffee dyed. They're also alcohol dyed. And of course, they're sewn. There's that. Okay, let's get to the next one. One, two. Let me get a teal one, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, let's see, I'll grab another one of these tech. So there's this set. I use a lot of these little poly bags. The size that I'm using is four by six. Cello. Just cello. Safina. Hi, Safina. How are you, lady? How are you? How are you? Oh, I packed some up backwards. Hang on. I gotta look cute. I gotta. I got a look cute to me. Oh, no, don't look. Don't use it. 
Okay, there we go. Let's get all the strings in there. Okay. Okay, so there's the next one. I wasn't sure how many of these I had. <laughs> Sometimes I just kind of guesstimate on my shop and then I go back and I edit it correctly because I'm like, I can't remember. I can't remember how many I have. I don't have any even package them up. Okay, so let's get the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm trying to get varying sizes, but these are going to get really random real quick. Really quick. So nice to catch you at this time, Dave, the 11.30 p.m. in the UK. <laughs> I'm going to try and go live during the day more. During the days, you know, normally when I get my graphic design and take care of my Etsy shop, um, that's when I normally am taken out. <laughs> it's normally when I do that. Oh, I did these backwards again. I like it so that the, the glue here goes to the back. I have to, it's so specific with me. I, have, I get a little bit ridiculous with how I make these little packs sometimes because I have to like it to look like a certain way. Ten note cards. Okay, so now we're getting down to less variety, but that's okay. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that's a pack. It's 4.31 in Arizona. It's 3.30 here. I'm almost due for a nap, but I was like, no, I got to get this done. Plus, I just ate. I can't go to sleep after I just eat anymore. <laughs> My stomach hurts if I do that. Okay. Let's get all the threads in here. Yeah, they are all different. They're all completely different. Another set of ten. Okay. One, two. And I thought I would get my other, my jewel. I got my junk jewelry in the shop, my junk dangles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, that took, oh my God, it took forever to take those pictures. I had to take 81 pictures. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get this done in an hour. Now that took me like, oh, took me like three hours to take pictures of all those jewelry. And then one of my screens, I, I got all the pictures edited and I'm all excited. I post them. Then I look on my phone and my phone, the pictures look completely different than they do on my computer screen. So I'm going to have my husband like calibrate my computer screen or something because the pictures that I saw on my computer look nothing like the pictures that I saw on my phone. And I was very upset about that. Very upset about that. Okay, so there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I guess I get to keep this. <laughs> I'll just put them in my stash. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yes, my little cat. He's uh, he's enjoying the the sun. So it's almost his nap time though. I'm just gonna take a nap. He always takes a nap around three to five p.m. He has such a schedule. It's funny. It's funny. okay. So here's the last pack of those. So let me go to my shop and edit that. I have six of these. I don't know how many I put, but let's see if I guessed right. <laughs> let's see, I have six, so let me mark it as, so I put four, okay, so six, yay. Okay, so that's done, all right. Next thing I need to do is let me package up the uh, Dick and Jane ones. So I wanna, 
organize them by scrap of paper pattern because I only had so many scrap uh, patterns that I cut up. So let's see. That one. There's these floral ones. These are all my scrap papers that I cut up that I've had forever. <laughs> had these forever. So if I get to use things up. This. Queen. This is a glittery one. I guess I only have one of these purple ones. Do I? Yep, I only have one. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Let me get some more, you guys. I need some water. Where's my water? What's up, Bubbles? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So these are eight junk journal envelopes. Yeah, that's what these are, eight junk journal envelopes. Okay. So you get eight. One, I'm going to close them. They have the really cute Jane, uh, Dick and Jane images on the inside that are fabulous. I get you, I think. Do I have eight patterns? Oh, technically I do right now. You'll get one of each then. My kitty got a new toy today. What did it get? What did you get? So here's four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Two. Four, and of course, all the noise, all the noise, right now. Let's just do it all right now. <laughs> Robin, hi Robin, how are you? Okay, so let's eat, scrub the loops. Oh, I just had it and it popped out. I think they're doing construction on my street. I don't know why they keep coming in here though. Okay, so here's um, eight envelopes. And here I do I do put these in the back. Just because they, these ones don't have the <laughs> glue. These ones are not self adhesive. Okay, so let's go to the next one. One, two. Three, four. <gasps> Whoa, did you guys see all that flickering? Okay, I don't know what the deal is with that flickering. But that's not okay. <laughs> Sometimes the screen will do that when there's too many patterns on the screen. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, so here's four, five, six, seven, and which one do I have more of? Okay, eight. Maybe I should add two of these per set instead. Yeah, because I have so many of these. I have two per stack of these. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That was weird, huh, Jen? That, that happens when there's too many patterns on screen that clash. I don't know. There's literally a name for it. I can't remember. can't remember what it's called, but there's a name for it. Okay, so eight different envelopes. Right there. And I can see that these are the chicken J ones because my other labels also just say eight envelopes. One, here's two, three, this one's so cute, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I feel like they was going on forever. Uh, let's get another one in here, eight, one, two. Okay. 
my nose, you guys. So over it. I'm gonna either, I'm either sneezing or I'm stuffing. Those, <laughs> those are my two moods currently. how many I said I had on hand, but I will have to check. I'm going to drop my link, so watch out. It's a horrible allergy day today. It's a horrible allergy day every day <laughs> for me. For me, every day is a bad allergy day. It's terrible. Okay. So, one... are so fun to make. I still have a couple of more Dick and Jane images I can make um, more envelopes out of. I just was kind of sick of making them. <laughs> I wanted to make something else. Okay, so next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's it. And these get to be in my own stash. All right. Unless, how many do I have in here? <laughs> I like I have more. I can package these up too. I don't need that many. I always make new stuff, so. I'd rather have it in my shop. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. All right. And then let's see. Okay, let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was such a good idea for me because I had no clue what to do with these Dick and Jane uh, pictures. I've had this book for years now, for at least three years, at least two or three years I've had this book. And I really had no idea what to do with them. That one's a little weak. I folded that one too much. Because they're such a big image. I really didn't know what to do with them. So I'm really glad YouTube recommended that video that I you, uh, made them. You got a bow because I couldn't find the heart. <laughs> okay, so there's these envelopes. I think I might... Mm, how many more do I have? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, and eight. And then I can put the rest of these. These will be good for me. See, I normally put one per journal, so I this is literally for like eight journals, right? <laughs> Okay, so 
that does it for the Dick and Jane. Uh, let's see, I need one of these backwards, though. So I can tell that it's the Dick and Jane set. And uh, I don't know if I corrected it, but this isn't vintage paper. I don't know if I, I think I wrote vintage for paper. It's not vintage. It's vintage images, but it's not vintage book paper. Okay, so let's see how many things we have. I can correct my shop number. We have four. We have seven. We have seven of the Dick and Jane envelopes. So one moment. Yeah, they are retro. You're right. They are retro. 60s is retro. Okay, so let me edit this. I said I have three, six, seven. So let me fix this to be. Oh, it's already at seven. Okay, cool. Did I get a new order? Oh, oh I'm going to do a little dance because I just got a new order. Thank you. So then I got to fix it because I just sold one. So three, now I have six. So I did have it incorrect still. Thank you so much to whoever purchased some of my envelopes. Thank you. Thank you. I will get them to you uh, probably by tomorrow at the post office. I do. I am going to be leaving this weekend. So if you uh, order after Friday, I will not be sending out your order for about a week. Could be less, but I put seven to ten days um, just because I need to do that. I'm leaving town. I'm going to California. I'm so excited. Go to California. Go to Baja California. Is it Baja California? I guess technically it's not Baja California. It's just California. <laughs> I'm also going to be going to some Mexico. Okay, so three sixties are done. Next that I need to do is the music sheet envelopes. And I have more of these. Than anything else, these are I made the most of these. I have so many of these, so this is good. I used a whole, I used up a whole uh, music sheet book, a whole music sheet. <laughs> it was great. It's great. Look how big this pile is. This how thick this pile is. Envelopes that I made here, and my husband he was so kind. He helped me score them, and he helped me uh, cut the edges. Uh, uh, court around the edges because I my hands were falling off. My hands were literally falling off trying to do it myself. Okay, so right here I'm dividing them by thread color so that way I can get you different thread colors so I have a little bit more fun. There's all sorts of different scrapbook papers in this. It's just a smorkish board of scrapbook papers. This Hopefully this doesn't mess up my camera. Um, I, I still have a lot. I, I bought a lot of uh, music sheets this last time I went to the, the thrift shop. Oh, these this is a big and big. Okay. Um, I got lucky. I honestly never find music, she, music sheet books. So when I found it, I was very excited. I bought a couple. I don't know why they're, they're never there when I when I go buy them. This is gray. Okay, these are orange. These are purple. I got I got to use all sorts of colors in these envelopes. That was fun. Put that in orange. Hang on. This is a little too long. This is a little ridiculous. Okay. Ah, uh, you guys, you guys, you guys. I love it, you guys. It just feels good to spread all your work, you know? Just like, look at all I did. <laughs> look at all I did, Mom. <laughs> I got work done, Ma. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay. The art. And these are all sorts of scrapbook papers. There's so many different kinds of scrapbook papers in here. I just... Whatever 12 by 12 was in my stash got hacked up for these envelopes. Had this paper for years. 
and I finally am getting them made up here. They're finally being used. Just feels really good. I like buying supplies, but what gives me a happier feeling is knowing that I use them all up and then I can buy more. <laughs> knowing I used everything up before I buy more, it makes me feel better. So I'm trying not to be a hoarder. <laughs> Try not to be a hoarder anymore. <laughs> Okay, these are all the berry color, and the yellow, and then the orange, and that's purple. Yes, I love different color threads too. I got to, I used so many of my bobbins, you guys. It was, <laughs> it was ridiculous how many orange bobbins I had. I didn't have to make any new bobbins. These are all old bobbin, half used bobbins that I got to use up. So that feels really good too. Now all my bobbins are clear and ready for more thread. <laughs> uh, yellow. Oh my goodness. I got so many of these done. I feel so good. Yellow. And then this is green here. So here's all here's some greens. Uh, these are all yellow, 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 and green. Okay. Cheryl, I didn't see Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. How are you, darling? I'm sorry about the noises going on outside. They're doing, I don't know what they're doing out there. They like dug up all the corners of the streets. Just the corners. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. That's, it's really weird. Construction decisions are really weird sometimes. That's blue. Here's more of that berry color. I had so many orange puppets. It's not even funny. I guess that most of them are orange. You'll, have to, you'll get a couple of orange then. Okay, so these are eight. You know what? I should change these to a dozen. No, I should change these. Let me see. Let me see how it is in my store. Um, because I have so many of these. Eight just seems like too little. Uh, maybe I'll do 12. Yeah, let's do 12. 12 of these envelopes. Let me change the price because now there's more of them. What are the $16.95? I think that's a fair price. They were eight for $12.95, and they're going to be. Uh, eight for twelve ninety five, and now they're going to be these ones are going to be twelve for fourteen ninety five. We'll do these for fourteen ninety five. Okay, price change on these because I know I'm going to have so many of them, so I might as well package more of them up. Um, per package, there's just so many of these. Okay, so now I've changed the price. Now these are going to be. Uh, 12 for $14.95. Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. Penny, hi, Penny. That's an interesting last name. Kitz Miller. I like it. Sounds cute. It's a very interesting last name. Sounds like the name of, like, a magazine or something. Okay, so we got to package these up. Woo! Uh, hello, snuck in here. Oh, there's so many. Oh, I have two greens. Hello, Daisy. Hello. I have two greens. <laughs> Unnecessary. So it looks like most of them are orange. <laughs> orange and yellow. That's what I have the most of. Okay, so we're going to put four orange. And these are all different kinds of scrap of paper. All different kinds of scrap of paper. A nice little mix here. Okay, so there's four. I'll pick four of the yellow. Different papers. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Wait, wait, these are gray. <sighs> these are gray. Hang on, those are gray. There's 
supposed to be orange and yellow right now. So I need one more yellow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, one, two, three. I, if I was on a camera, this would be the same. I have to count everything like ten times because I always count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right after I count it, I will immediately forget it. <laughs> um, that's that's just that's normal for me. <laughs> Beverly, hi Beverly, how are you, Beverly? Hey Beverly, hey. Okay. So actually, now I need to change this label to twelve. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. Hang on, I need my control D. So that's envelopes, and this is going to be 12. Save. Save it. Save as a PNG. All the envelopes. Okay, and I'm going to print it. Thing I can make my own labels. <laughs> you guys, it, these labels are really unnecessary. They really are just so unnecessary. <laughs> but I am obsessed with making labels for everything that's unnecessary. <laughs> okay, let's print out. Um, we'll do, uh, I don't think I'll do, I don't think I have 30 sets. I highly doubt I have 30 sets. I'll print out 30 sets. Because I got it like that. Okay, so don't need these anymore. All right. We've unnecessarily created more labels. All right. I love this thing, you guys. I freaking love it. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. And I always have extras of everything, so if I need it again, I just go look through my extra pile first. So handmade. It says handmade by Tsunami Rose, 12 junk journal envelopes. <laughs> it's, just, it's a little unnecessary. It really is. Okay. Hang on, I'm getting real messy over here. So let me organize my goodies. These are kind of getting all over the place. All right, that feels much better. That feels much, much better. Okay, now I can continue because they are getting all over the place. Ah. <sighs> How is everybody? Thank you for joining me. I'm just over here getting some work done, y'all. I'm just getting work done, and I only get work done sometimes if I go live. <laughs> so don't mind me. I'm over here just like sometimes I don't even look up at the screen, and I apologize. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm checking my Facebook now, which I shouldn't be doing. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Okay. Paying attention again. Here we go. <laughs> I need... Four of these, um, four of the, oh, this is green. Look at me. Are you colorblind, Daisy? Possibly. Because those are not yellow, ma'am. Okay. Yellow thread, of course, like I said, these are all sorts of different scrap papers. And this one's purple, Daisy. Now I'm concerned. Now I need to get my eyesight, and these are gray. Now I need to get my eyesight checked because I can't tell colors apart. Okay. 
This one's so pretty. These papers are back from my uh, scrapbook days. Like, I would never buy this paper now, but it actually looks kind of cute for scrapbook. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and now I need to get my four oranges. What a funky little paisley design. Sometimes I forget, I have a paisley style tattoo on the back of my leg, on the back of my ankle. I don't, can't remember the last time I looked at them. <laughs> I'm always wearing socks and I thought it would be so cool to get ankle tattoos and I can't, I, I never wear shorts. I don't even own shorts. So they never get seen. <laughs> uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, and one more. Try to get different patterns here. Ah, uh, welcome to my world, lady, right? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and uh, well, actually, eleven, and I believe this is twelve. But I'm gonna count again. One, two, two. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. I might run out of these size bags. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guess I haven't ordered them in a minute. I had so many when I first started. 12. And I have a size posted on my shop, but I believe it's 4.5 by 6 when closed and 6 by 6 when these are opened. Oh, look, I'm so organized. <laughs> I laugh because I'm not. That's the why I laugh here. Okay, so let's keep going, Daisy. Let's keep going. Phillips threw up on Daisy's desk. I know. I know. I was just sitting here sewing, sewing all these up last weekend. Ooh, and this one has, is it flecking or flocking? I think it's flocking. I learned that in college. Where it's like velvety. I love it. But this was a fabulous paper. Um, let's see. And then this one is, I believe, a uh, graphic 45, but the I don't buy name brand no, uh, uh, name brand designer paper, but I know that one was graphic 45. I used to buy a lot of random stuff off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. I still do. <laughs> I still buy random people's scrapbook paper. So you get random papers. So here's four yellows. I'm getting four. Yeah, that one's beautiful. Four of these oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that one too weak? No, Okay, so there's eight because it's just nine. Ten, look at that. Ten. Uh, thank you, Miss Jen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we use a purple for twelve. There it is. Thank you guys. You're so kind. Thank you, Miss Jen. Miss Jen gets mad if you guys don't thumbs up, so don't upset her. <laughs> Please, let's not get her upset now. It's not. For, don't do it for me. Do it for Jen. <laughs> do it for Jen because she she'll call your house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she'll call your house and she'll tell your mom. So you guys better thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. And then I have these envelopes. Like, I am completely covered in envelopes right now. And so if you need envelopes, please <laughs> buy some for me. <laughs> please. <laughs> Let's see here. One, two, three. What, that's three, Daisy. What do you mean one, two, three? That's only three. Okay, so there's four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, nine, one, two, three, four. I only needed four, baby. One, two, three, four. Okay, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Okay, this last one. I needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Okay. See, Stephanie can attest. Stephanie has been called and scolded. <laughs> but then I don't know how she does it. She just she gets her phone number, so you know you better hit like. <laughs> You better hit like and you better hit subscribe or she'll tell Santa on you. <laughs> it's not my rules, it's Jen. We got it's Jen. It's not my show, it's Jen's show. So you guys better do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Oh, I only need four. What? My brain is melting. Okay, here's four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> Jen, that's a whole new threat level. Jen says she will sharpie on your face if you don't hit like and subscribe. That's from her. That's her threat. That's not me. So if you call the cops, my name is Jen. <laughs> if you call the cops, my name is Jen. Okay. Okay, we are working it. Even though there's a weird pterodactyl sounding thing outside... I apologize. <laughs> Ugh. The day I picked a little lie, you guys, this is what I get. This is what I get. Those are the same one. I'm trying to get a variety. Two, get three of those. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Thank you, Miss Patricia. And hi, Miss Patricia. What do you mean you're doing great? Thank you and hello. You had said, did you say hi earlier? I don't think I think you just popped up, right? Like, hang on. Because now I'm upset. Patricia, I said hi to you and I forgot and hi and I said hi again. <sighs> you guys, I don't know when I'll get it together. Hi, Miss Patricia. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot you were here. You have said anything in a minute and I completely forgot. I apologize. I apologize. My condolences. I messed up on it. <laughs> My brain is mush. My brain is mush been working so hard so i'm glad to be going to california i'm gonna go see my family go spend time uh, with my parents because they are leaving at the end of the month they are leaving to mississippi and so i get to hang out with them and go see family at the same time so excited for that i need a little bit of time away from the computer screen <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's twelve. 
that's that pretty um graphic 45 paper some random butterfly uh, random dragonfly paper i had i had like a couple sheets of it there you go look how well organized they are from when we started look at that looks great looks great again thank you all so much for your support it helps me um to eat and to pay my rent <laughs> And so I am ever so grateful that you guys helped me out here. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, great. That for, yeah, I have a, I have trees around me. There's like a little bit of landscape. As much as you can have in the, de the desert. And we actually do get a lot of birds. We get ducks too. The other day, there was ducks that were walking across um, in front of my door. And my cat freaked out. He was like, hunt. He was like ready to go on the hunt for those ducks. Because we have a little, we have a, we, we live near the uh, water what is it called? No, a flood channel. So there's always a little bit of water there. And so there's ducks. And uh, like I said, my cat loves the ducks. Huh, boo -boo? You love the little duckish boo -boo He's like, whatever, whatever. <laughs> He's like, don't talk to me. <laughs> Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and oh my gosh, twelve. We get huge geese and antelope, deer, rabbits, skunks, raccoon. That's a lot. <laughs> oh my, I want to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot of stuff. We just get like lizards. <laughs> we get lizards and ducks and birds. That's it. Apparently, the other last week somebody said they lost their ferret, so there might be a ferret out there too. We have been watching deer, Papa Duck, Planet a Cove behind our house for them and they are loving it. How cool. The only times I've ever seen deer was when I went to I went to Utah to to stay at my boss's um he called it a cabin but it was three stories high. <laughs> it was three stories so that's not a cabin it was like a mansion and uh there was deer. I was like whoa there's like literally deer and there was, there was lots of deer. It was very interesting. I am very much a city person. And so I'm not used to that. That level of wilderness. <laughs> so that was interesting. I didn't care for the bugs. Totally could have done without the bugs. But uh, what are you going to do? Okay, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. All right. I was surprised to see ducks, though, to be honest. And then at night you can hear them. I don't think they stay for the summer, though. I think they leave. But there's always water there in the flood channel. There's always water there. So I guess there's always ducks. Uh, Jen says, a few weeks ago in my driveway in the snow, we had antelope, raccoon, bunny trucks in the same way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sounds fabulous. 
sometimes we get I, oh yeah i've heard of coyotes here in town too and on the uh on the outskirts of town coyotes and mountain lions even mountain lions but in the outskirts of town not where i live not, not in the city where i live but there's some houses that are we live in a valley las vegas is a valley and some of the houses that are near the mountains will get mountain lions like literally mountain lions i heard about one the other day i think they had to take it down I kept going in the neighborhood. But it's like, that's where they live. <laughs> you are in their house. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. It's, it's too political. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There's my twelve. Now we are getting down to the nitty gritty. Good thing too, because I'm almost out of these poly bags. I think I might be out of them for the the Franken envelope. I don't know. Okay, we're down to eight. Okay, there's three. Here's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this should be twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's 12. Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to have to go look and see if I have some leftover poly bags somewhere. I don't, I don't think the other envelopes are going to fit in this. Oh. This cat, he has not left the door, the side, the, the, he has not left my door since I opened it this morning for him. He has been stuck to the door all day. It's like it's like his TV, and you you close the door, and he gets like all huffy and puffy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wouldn't you know it? One, two, three. Oh my God. Sorry, that noise outside is like literally distracting me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that worked out perfectly. But now I'm out of these poly bags. Are there cello bags? Oh, they're from Camarillo. <gasps> I didn't know. It's Floral Supply Syndicate, Camarillo, California. I got these off Amazon. Maybe that's from Camarillo. That's near my hometown. My, one of my cousins, a couple of my cousins live there. It's like the next town over from my hometown. Actually, I think Camarillo, yeah, Camarillo is before my town. Hello, Daisy. Okay, so there's that. So, oh, let's see how many of these I had. These were quite a lot. I'm glad I didn't catch them if I ate because I <laughs> this I do have. Daisy, what is the secret to getting your scanning cut uh, to cut out the stickers without picking up the lines in the sticker and cutting them? Have an outline. Have a black outline around the image. that you're, Whatever image you're trying to cut out, you have to have a round outline. Um, I mean a black outline. That's, that's, that's what you need. You can't have just an image it has to have a black outline trust me it does it matters and it does it, that's how i design everything because if it doesn't have that black outline then it wants to cut inside it definitely does want to cut inside the, the image so that is what you need to do 
four. Here's five. Here's ten. I got thirteen of them. That's, I mean, that's a lot of work. <laughs> thirteen packages and there's twelve each. That's like a hundred and what? Twelve times twelve is one forty-four. No. So that's insane, Daisy. That's not sane. That's not safe, and that's not normal. <laughs> To decide, I just I just chopped up a bunch of twelve by twelves, and uh, yeah. Uh, okay, do you do that in Brother program or no? You do it either on the computer, uh, because I design things, so I design everything with the black outline myself. Um, you could trace around the image. That's that's the thing is that's why the scan and cut is great, but it it only cuts things out if they have a, a solid outline. So that's another extra step for whenever I design things. It's an extra big step that I have to do to make a black outline on stuff. Um, so I design it on the computer. The scanning cut does not do that for you. Um, you could try when you scan it in, um, you could increase the, the border, like you could have a border on it. So sometimes when the image it wants to cut all up in there and you put a border on it on the on the scanning cut, it doesn't add physically a border. But digitally it will extend the cutting parameters by a certain number of pixels or I don't know what measurement it uses for that, but it'll like expand. Sometimes that could solve the problem of it cutting it inside, but the only thing that's gonna guarantee that you have a nice cut with the scanning cut is a solid black outline so that's why i tell people if you buy something from another digital designer that's not me uh keep in mind that you need to make sure that you use a that you buy a whoever you buy from that they have a solid black outline because otherwise the scan and cut doesn't like it it really doesn't Okay, so it's time to do these ones. And let's see here. Yeah, it's a really, a lot of people design things and, the, and, and I'm talking about specifically the scan and cut. I don't know about other cutting machines because I know there's other cutting machines and they're different. So this may not apply to a silhouette. This may not apply to a cricket. But for the scan and cut, it needs a solid black outline. Okay, purple, purple, purple. And um, sometimes you can get away with it. Sometimes you can get away with it and not have a, an outline and it still cuts it out. <clears throat> it's not guaranteed every time, though. Okay, dividing these Franken envelopes by color. Man, these took a lot of work. These took a lot of work. I loved it, but they were a lot of work. Okay, 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 okay. I only have one blue. And how am I going to package these? Because I don't. I need to buy more chunk bags, apparently. Um. Okay, that shouldn't be too too many. Oh, hang on, I found some chunk bags. Yay! Yay! Loose cello. Why? Why did you rip it? Understand why you did that? Stupid tape. Okay. Sorry, I'm off camera looking for cello bags. <laughs> I found four. Found a couple. I just saw the other day. Melody Lane passed away. Yes. Yeah. I, I've been following her for a number of years. Um, not so much on YouTube, but I've actually been, I was friends with her for the longest time. And I can't remember, I unfriended her because I unfriended a lot of people or unfollowed a lot of people around the time of COVID just because I, it was like mentally stressing to see so many people's opinions <laughs> about COVID. So I unfollowed a bunch of people. I unfriended a bunch of people because I just couldn't deal with it. 
And uh, I can't even remember why I unfollowed her. But I remember still checking. Oh, I was I was still part of a group. So I think that's why I was like, I don't need to be your friend. Because she did cricket stuff and I'm not really into cricket stuff. So I was like, I don't need her to be my friend. And so I mean, she doesn't know me. So who cares? <laughs> she doesn't know me personally. And um, I was in her Facebook group, though. I don't even know why. I think back in the day I had a cricket. And I followed her, I guess. I don't even know why I followed her or was her friend. I can't remember. But I do remember uh, hearing about her being sick because she got sick here in Vegas. And around that time that she was taking her trip, she was like very public about her trip to Vegas. And she came when they were talking about how bad it was here. There was like another, it was like the, the the Omicron variant was out here. And I think that's when I unfriended her. I was just like, I, I don't know. Something told me this is not going to be well. This is not going to be good. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I just unfollowed her. And then I saw that she was sick and I kept, I kept, I kept up with her. I did keep up with her uh, profile just to see how she was because that's, crazy and uh yeah i saw that i saw the day the day that they said she passed away i was shocked i was shocked because i you know you just don't expect it you expect people to get better and uh yeah she didn't get better unfortunately very unfortunate that was a very unfortunate loss for everybody i know everybody loved her she had so many followers I'm still in her Facebook group, so it's really nice of her. I think it's her sister to take over her account. That's nice of her, uh, nice of them. And I hope her son gets better, too, and quickly. I think I don't know if he got out of the hospital yet, but he was in the hospital still last I heard. Uh, something I was like, ooh, it's not a good time to come to Vegas. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know her, so it's none of my business what she did. But, um, yeah. I remember I even unfriended my, one of my uncles. Because <laughs> he was saying something about masks back in the day and I just didn't want to hear it. So I unfriended my uncle. So that's going to be awkward when I see him again. <laughs> that's going to be an awkward conversation to have. Okay, so one more. Eight. So there's eight. Franken envelopes here. I wasn't a subscriber either, but I watched her on and off. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's very sad. Very, very sad. I hope her family um, pulls, together. pulls together. Okay, so... Let's see, here's three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 8. One, four, eight. Okay. I'm sure I, I, I couldn't for the life of me remember why I followed her, but um, like I said, back in the day, I used to have a cricket. Back in the day, I used to just more like scrapbooking and stuff and i know she's big in that community so that's possibly why i was following her i can't remember but i was in a group and everything so i don't, I don't and i don't even have a cricket <laughs> i haven't had a cricket in years uh three four five six seven and eight Okay, let's do this here. I think I'm out of cello then. I am out of cello. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep, I only have these little cellos, which actually I think these fit. Do these fit? 
That would be insane. Nah, it, it will fit. <laughs> nah, they don't fit. Wait, 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 hold on a minute. Oh my word. I'm honestly shook right now. I'm shook. They fit in these. Ah! That's wonderful. That's a wonderful sight. How good is that? You know what? My life is great. Okay, here's four. That's wonderful. I got saved by the bell on that one for sure. Oh my goodness. Um, so here's five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's eight. Oh my god, they fit in the little cellos. Okay, you guys. I do want to show off the jewelry. The junk journal. Dang. Hang on. One of these is too big. <laughs> They're all supposed to be the same size. I don't know why that one's slightly bigger. <laughs> Just ever so slightly bigger. Come on, little cello bags. Here we go. Look at that. Okay. Okay, well, that's freaking awesome. Okay, let me show you if I can show you. Real quick, we'll actually uh, edit. And then these will just go in my stash. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. I got six. Okay, so I got six of these. Let me go ahead and edit that. All right, three, six, 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 six. Let's see. Oh, I put eight. Okay, that was the wrong. That was the wrong prediction. Okay. Let me see if I can show you the dangles if I can. Okay, uh, where are they? Here they are. I have several sets of dangles available if y'all are interested. I have four big dangles, which have 12 pins each. So there are 12 two inch pins full of beads and charms. And they weigh a pretty penny. Acrylic beads and glass beads. You get three charms with big, uh, big ones. I have regular in pink, and then I have prayer journal in pink. These ones have two angels and one cross charms. All pink here, pink on pink. No problem, Jen. So there is that. And then there is this. Here is the angels, another religious one with two angels and a cross. This one's purple and they sparkle so pretty. And then I have um, singles. I have some that I have that are five pins. Let's see if I can show you. Here I have sets of five, and these uh, well, the big ones I should say the big ones are going to be on a pin, and I'm also going to include a bulldog clip. I'm going to include a bull head pin or clip with these with the big ones so that they can attach to your journal. If that's how you choose to attach it. So that's how this comes. And they just attach really well. And um, so that'll be with the big ones. The little ones, which are the sets of five, five individual pins, like right here. And the star, these ones have uh, a uh, charm each. 
And I have these in several colors, and I also have some that are um, crosses and angels. Got them in pink, purple, blue. I have some in yellow. Well, one in yellow. I think I have one in a set in black and white. Um, and then I also have a set in in white. Yeah, white. Then I also have some sets of some of the almost like the very first pins that I. They're not the very first, but they're some of the beginner pins that I made. And so some of the loops at the top are not perfect. They're a little bit funky looking. So I, I'm selling them, but they're discounted. They're, they're pretty discounted. And uh, they're really lovely designs. It's just some of the loops at the very top. I was just starting to make them. And I don't know why I didn't. I could have just added a little seed bead at the top and it would have been better. But anyways, they are sold as is. I marked them. They say imperfect. And yeah. That's going to be it for me right now, you guys. I'll be back tonight. We'll be working on the signatures for the Grief Junk Journal. So if you guys want to join me for that, that would be great. Um, I thank you guys so, so much for your support that you've shown me here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for just watching, for commenting, for liking. That is good enough for me. So again, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today, for helping me uh get, get my shop uh fixed up and i'm really really happy um with all the work that i got done today but anyways i hope everybody has a good day and i'll see you guys tonight 10 p.m pacific standard time i think it's 12 a.m central standard time and 1 a.m eastern standard time i haven't even said that in so long but i forgot okay thank you guys so so much and i'll see you tonight bye